Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Painting Han. Today, we are going to be painting Frisia, beautiful yellow Frisia. My friend brought this flower for me, so I was so glad and happy. Thank you, friends. We can give flower to someone and receive something from other people. That's a very pleasure, isn't it? Okay, before we start, please subscribe and hit the like button. Thank you. Let me tell you about the colors we'll be using today, yellow and soft green. So we are going to use the three step of yellow and green color. Okay, to each pencil is ready for sketching and white and knife will be used for the final part of the, this painting. Can you see it on the video right uh, bottom area? Knife and yellow, knife and white color. Okay, okay. I will start the sketching. I will draw big flowers and small flower and I will draw the stem as if they are connected at the bottom of the uh, stems, right? Okay, maybe they are sister, older and younger sister. They are whispering. And uh, draw each flowers, buds uh, one by one. And then I draw some stems and pistils inside the flowers. Yeah, this one, stem one and pistils there. The stem is drawn not as a straight lines, but slightly curved and with uneven lines, right? We uh, drawn, yeah, like that. Draw each petals uh, slowly and a uh, little bit uh, detail. And for this flower, we're gonna use the mainly use yellow and soft green. So we are going to use the three step of yellow and green color. So uh, light value of yellow, middle value of yellow, and dark and deep value of the yellow. And we will use the soft green to light middle value and dark value of the uh, colors. We gonna use the three step of yellow and green. And then, can you see the uh, my video on the my video, the right lower side knife and white color? So we're gonna use the knife and white paint will be used for a stem month. We will be able to see it towards the, the end part of the video. Okay. Now I'm sketching younger sister of uh, flowers. When you draw or paint, you can make the, your own story about the, this painting. Yeah, this one is the, we're gonna use knife and white later on. Okay, I'll Right now, I'm making light yellow. So, taking a yellow, put on the pattern, on the each pattern. Yeah, do you remember the three step of coloring? So, we will use three levels of color. 
light, middle, and dark. And when you paint the petals with ye light yellow, you need to leave a tiny, tiny space between each petals. Can you see it? Yeah. We didn't apply the water before we color. So I get the yellow, put on the directly on the paper this color. This is the middle value of yellow to paint the bottom part of the flower. Since, since the paper is quite wet, so the yellow is spreading slowly and nicely. Next, let's draw the stems using a continuous long straw and short line. Long one and short one. Okay. And, then, and now I'm using the very thin brush. I want to add yellow to the green stems around them. This one can make the colors look more natural and organic, also beautiful. We can get any uh, beautiful feeling. Yeah, take the uh, dark value of green, add, and then add on the side of the uh, stem. Even though it's a very thin stem, it will look more three-dimensional. Yeah, light value, and uh, get a middle value. Ah, I'm still working the light value of the color put on the buds. I'm mixing the color yellow and green. Middle value of color. And the very dark value of the uh, color put on the uh, second uh, stage of green. It will look more uh, three-dimensional. Next, I want to get 
dark value of yellowish orange for the stem for the uh, no no not a stem for the uh, flowers so I mix the yellow and a bit of orange making a dark yellow to paint the darker part of the flower area which is the bottom and which is the between petals using a thin brush would be a good idea right Next, to use a clean brush to gently remove some of the color on the left side of the flower. Because since the light, the I mean the sun is coming from the top left. And let's paint the right side of the flower with a slightly darker color to make it look more uh, three-dimensional. Now let's tie it up and arrange the flowers beautifully. Next, I want to draw the shadow, so I applied the water to the paper a little while ago, and now I'm drawing a shadow on the wet paper. I'm sorry, I missed that uh, video part. So, since the light is coming from the top left, so the shadows will be on the bottom right. At this point, Shadows don't need to follow the exact shape of the flowers because shadows change shape and size depending on the direction of the light. Direction of the light. Okay? I want to add light yellow on the shadow area because I want to feel good and natural. 
And now I'm going to use the splatter technique with yellow and a splattering here and there. As I mentioned earlier, I'm trying to scrub the paper with a knife for the stamen of the flower. But since the paper is still wet, so it's not working well. So I'm using to draw the stamen with white paint using a thin brush. Now I'm using a watercolor, white watercolor. However, you can use white acrylic or white gouache. Okay. And let's try painting this area too with white as well. And then add the top of the flower buds and tidy up here and there. We used the white color. And I want to remove some color from here with the green brush. Okay. And today we try the painting stemmon using white or a knife. And we also draw yellow flowers using three step of coloring. So remembering the three step of coloring chart will help your paintings level. Okay. Thank you for watching today's video. See you next time. Bye.